אז אין לי רכב. אוקיי, אנחנו נתחיל. אבל יש את ה... תראו, תמונים מנהלת. אנחנו נתחיל לספיק עבור את ההנחות. ההנחות עד אוניד את הנבידיו. אוקיי? אוקיי? איך? ערב פסח, מורה ורבותיי, תודה רבה מאוד שאתם מבואים. תודה רבה לכם שאתם מבואים 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 לכם Dr. and Mrs. Polat, if I can ask you to come to sit here, it's going to be much more comfortable, because this way we're all in the same place. Mikhail and uh, Mrs. Shalom, if you can come and sit here, it's going to be more cozy and not far away, you know. I don't see you guys. Hello. Thank you. No, it's too many, many Shalom so no, so no of one place. Okay, I got, I got the message. Okay, no problem. No problem. Thank you. Almighty God, we give all of you long and healthy Amen. and a happy life. Amen. I want to invite um, uh, one of our community members, one of our... Um, Um, members in, in the Wednesday night class, uh, the Gate of Trust, to come to say a few words. Just before, I'm going to ask all of you, please, 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 I'm going to send you, and this link is a link to give donation to needy people. It's a link to give donation to needy people. And um, it's very important now, before Pesach, they are from our community, Bukharian as well, Jews in general, but particular, in particular Bukharian. Um, Our community is obligated, and here with Chakudmim, the poor people of your home is before anyone else. Please, anyone that wants to do a donation, I will make special mission uh, to him, to his family, that the Almighty God will pay him 1,000 times over. Let us say Amen. Amen. You're going to get the link. I'm in charge of one of the donations. You're going to get the link. Go the extra mile. Um, tonight, I will show to Ram. is um, for the success and for the happiness of I, I, I. What is I, I, I? I, I, I is Hasidim of the ability to take darkness moment in life and to make it happen. Instead of crying for I, 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 they sing him. I stand for the people that sponsor tonight's show. Anna and Yosef are alive. Anna is Aleph, Yosef is Y. Is Yud? Ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 ay. The Almighty God will give you Yosef. Yosef Hashem and Achem Kachem. Elef Pamim. The Almighty God will give you a thousand times for everything that you do. For the fact that we see you and your wife, Mrs. Alayo, every week. The Almighty God will bless you to raise your children. לתורה, לחופה, למעשים טובים. And to see Nachat and Shalom Bayit Amiti. To have a love and a love. Shalom v'reut b'ezrat Hashem. Yosef b'ezrat Hashem, this year is going to be the gate of Parnasa. V'arikuti lachem b'rachat b'nidai. The gate of Torah, the gate of Kedusha, the gate of Tara. We are lucky in Wednesday night to see you, you and your wife almost every week. My name is Rabbi Vaklin, and I approve this message. Yes, let's clap the hand to Yosef and Adam. Yes. I want to invite the brothers of Yosef. Ovadi. Ovadi, Ovadi, Ovadi. To share, to share with us some more. Thank you, Rabbi. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm not going to take too much time, uh, of your time. The lecture is more important. Um, what we are doing is we are, we are trying to um, build up our shul. Temple or shul is basically what we have right now in place of a Beit HaMikdash. And it's a big mitzvah to, to participate in this mitzvah. So what... what our community is trying to do, and it's a community of Hillcrest, not too, too far from here. Just like what, what was done with this building, we are trying to better and increase the size of the building so it's enough for more and more people, for our children, for your children, whoever is moving in our community, uh, community of Hillcrest, um, there's going to be a plenty, plenty of space for everyone. That, that shul is going to be with a mikvah. There is not that many mikvot for, for, the, for the men, or for the dishes for that matter. So that's, the, that's the, what the intention is. We, we are trying to raise money. The campaign just started recently. Um, I, I just uh, left around on the tables um, 
a, a, a flyer. Um, there is a link there, a scannable link, if you want to uh, donate directly or if you want to have uh, an official site of you know where the campaign is happening, like charity.com. If you'd like to participate in the mitzvah, we'll be uh, very uh, you know, appreciative of this. And you know, there, there is plenty of members from the from that shul as well. Yosef is one of them. Moshe is another. Um, Itzhak and his wife is uh, part part of the community as well. So if anyone w wants to participate in that, we'll be. I would like to very happy. Okay, I was thinking maybe in the end we're going to give you a crash, maybe 10 minutes or 12 minutes in the end. Why everything that you need to know regarding to Kashrut? To kosher your own home, to prepare your house for Pesach. And I will do it with, or if you want to ask questions, anything that you need, because we're going to keep it in the end, because we started a little too late. Today I'm going to start with a message. Beautiful message. I wish that you had a pen and paper to write a few items, because you're going to read a lot of Hedushim, a lot of explanation regarding to Passover night. I told you there's going to be two uh, classes um, that is going to speak about Lena Seder for everything that you need to know about Lena Seder, this way you can share with your family, with your children. You're going to have a whole different Lena Seder from usual. So before we're going to start, I just want to say Mazal Tov, Mazal Tov. Mazal Tov to our Salam, to the one that's coming in all the way from Brooklyn, just as a baby, baby girl, a baby daughter. Baruch Hashem, Michael, Be'ezrat Hashem, him and his wife, the Almighty God will pay them for everything that they're doing to raise the, his children in the Torah. Today is Rosh Chodesh, Rosh Chodesh Nisan. In the end of the class, we're going to make a special tefillah that happened to be that is only from today to tomorrow. Special tefillah from the Shlach Kadosh regarding to Rosh Chodesh Nisan. But Rosh Chodesh Nisan and the month of Nisan is the most important month, the most important holidays for the whole year. If there's any month that we have to put focus and everything that we need, and everything that we need is this month. If there's any day in the year that you have to put all the focus, all the focus, and tonight you're going to hear something that you never knew before. Why Lela Seder is so important? What makes Lela Seder so unique? That these two items that every Jew is doing. Almost 90% of every Jew is doing these two items. And then these two items, and here on the there. What's the name of these two items? These two mitzvot? What's the name of these two mitzvot? Brit Mila. Very, very rare. The only a Jewish event that you have a special chair for here on the is Brit Mila. It's no other event. And the wedding is, is no chairs for here on the And the Pidion Abain and Bar Mitzvah. It's not chairs. But Brit Mila, and Yawana is there. And the second one is Lela Seder. If you realize, we have one glass. One glass, the fifth glass. That we keep it for who? For Yawana V. Almost every home, we have the tradition to keep one cup. We cover it, we, we put some cover, and we leave it with the wine for Yawana V to come. And some houses, some community have tradition to have a chair, special chair for Eliyahu Navi. Knowing to be Eliyahu Navi always visit and every home. Can you answer why these two mitzvot? Why these two acts? Why these two commandments? Is the only commandment that Eliyahu Navi is coming? Do you know what's the answer? What's that? Because Eliyahu Navi one time came and he spoke Lashon Hara against the Jews. He spoke bad, he said, God, the Jewish nation left you. God said, the Jewish nation? You're speaking bad against my nation? My children? You know, a father doesn't like, even though that you are right. Nobody is like to go to Yeshiva and he asks the teacher, so how is my son? Allah upon him. The worst things. No life, a loser. Oh. Why is he, why? Rabbi, can we step outside for a second? <laughs> 
Let's finish it men to men. No, maybe the rabbi is right. But you will never you will never talk to this rabbi. You're gonna go to the principal. You have to buy a rep. Why? Maybe he's a good rabbi. I met a rabbi like this. He got fired from Yeshiva. Why? And he asked me, Rabbi Wagner, I did right. He told one of the biggest sponsors of the Yeshiva. This Yeshiva is one of the Yeshiva. He told one of the biggest sponsors. Your child is how do you call it? Not a bum. Um, he called his child a bum or no, not Nebuchadnezzar. It was a word in English. In a second, I'm going to remember. Um, maybe a moron. Maybe I don't know which word. I don't know which word he used. <laughs> One day later, the rabbi got fired. He said, Rabbi Wagner, but the child is Balagan. I walk in Balagan. Jumping in, jumping, making noise. Dying. I said, yes, but you don't tell your father. The father, your child is Balagan. He said in a nice way, perhaps, just perhaps. Maybe you're going to teach your child. <laughs> Maybe you don't come direct. And then when I came to God and said, your children left you. Why, why, why? The Almighty God got upset. He said, my dear son, I will prove you that none of the children left me. Do you know why? Because they have two mitzvot that 90, 95% of the Jews is doing. What's the name of these two mitzvot? Bread Milan and Pesach. Purim. Not everybody celebrates. Everybody dress. Uh, I mean, people like to dress like a clown or something. How do you call it? A mask. But how many people... I fulfill the obligation of the holidays. Maybe 10%, maybe 20% of the Jews. Hanukkah, 30% because of Chabad, maybe 40%. Uh, Yom Kippur, Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur. <laughs> Listen to the simple explanation. Yom Kippur, Yom Kippur. Look like everybody. How many Jews we have, Bukharian Jews that live in Queens? How much? 65 to 70,000 Bukharian Jews. Wow. Now I'm going to ask you a simple, listen to this, simple calculation, you don't have to be deep. If you're going to fill, fill up, fill up <coughs> stuff in the time of Neila, all the synagogues and the communities, how many Jews can be going to? Put all the synagogues, with the synagogue of Ilkri, the new one, the beautiful one, with the, with the center, with Bet Bet any synagogue, oh Nathan, put all of them, you Nathan, how many people can be going to? 10,000, do you know what the meaning? 55,000 Jews do not come to the synagogue. It's no place. Simple. 55,000 Jews do not go to synagogue in Yom Kippur. It's no place. Physically, why? It's no place. And then the synagogue is open. Everybody's getting nervous. What nervous? We still have 55,000 in Yom Kippur that do not show up. You get nervous. You have to open every city, every street. You have to open the synagogue. But they have one other day that almost 90% of the Jews do. Only one. You know what's the name of this other day? Pesach. And then you're going to be there. You're going to be there and beat me down. You know why? 90%, above 90% of the Jews keep it. You're going to be there to show that as far as the Jews are, they have two, two, two mitzvot that they always keep. Pesach and beat me down. If this is so, I will tell you that Pesach is unique. Do you know why Pesach is so unique? Why the, land, the night of the seven? Anyone know this answer? We'll get free breakfast. Ham and his wife. What's the question? <laughs> <laughs> Before I asked the question, nobody asked. I said free breakfast? He's definitely a Jew. He's a Jew and might be Bukharian. <laughs> Bullshit. The question is... What? <laughs> Your wife is a doctor. You don't need free breakfast. Relax. <laughs> what is this, Roshan? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, I cannot doctor. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, the question is, what is so unique about Lela Seder? What make that night the key of all the blessing in our life? Greater from Yom Kippurim. From Purim. From any night. Any night. The night of the Seder, start from tonight. I will prove it to you. Tonight is a lucky night. You're going to hear so many explanations, so many things. Just be ready. I wish that you had pen and paper. Yes. The month of Giuna. Rabbi, they can listen to the recording. Yeah. Okay. Oh, gosh. The month of redemption. Beautiful. Chodesh Nisan is the most likeliest day 
to have ability and opportunity to bring Mashiach. But it's not the answer, we're still in exile. Stuff is good, free sample cappuccino. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. No, that one you have to say thank you to the store. Not to me. <laughs> they give you free sample. The breakfast being sponsored by Mr. Shalom. Shalom, Shalom, Mr. Shalom. Shalom at law. He's a lawyer in the land of God will give him a long. And then tonight, for look like today, he's in his wife scream Amen, just to make love and clear. <laughs> <laughs> this way you know who is the wife. When you hear Amen, it's strong. May God will bless Mr. Shalom. To have Shalom by Tamitin let us say Amen. May God will bless Mr. Shalom to raise his children in Torah. Kupam Mazin to let us say Amen. May God will bless Mr. Shalom to have unlimited wealth and unlimited happiness let us say Amen. Be the sponsor of his eyes. I saw that he came today with a good mood. I said, Yana, we have a sponsor for today. <laughs> Anyone can answer what is the unique. You and your wife and another couple can be the rabbi and his wife, by the way. Mm-hmm. What's the answer? You cannot find this explanation in his case. No offense, you have to come to the end. <laughs> no, don't check the museum. Uh, this is the place to be. This is the place to be. Whatever, I'm a tie. Ay, ay, ay. You know, Moshe, what's the answer? The answer is that night is the most luckiest night. The key of all the blessing. You know, when God created Adam and Eve, God gave Adam and Eve ten blessings. Ten blessings. When God cursed, after they made the sin, he cursed Adam and Eve with ten curses. How do you know ten curses? Because one, what's the curses that Adam got? What's the curses that Adam got? Earth to be sweat for your penasa. Nothing is coming easy. Today I'm going to give you such a advice how to this year each one of you do not forget in it. We have recording and uh, witnesses. Don't forget what you got these ideas. At the BJCC Youth Minion Talk Floor, the place to be. My name is Rabbi Maknin and I approve this message. Remember where you got it. Listen to this. This year each one of you is going to be rich. Physically unlimited wealth. If you own a house, you're going to pay the house in cash. Amen. If you don't own a house, you're going to buy the house in cash. Amen. If you need to be the pinna, a synagogue, you're going to pay it in cash. Amen. Whatever you need this year, by the way, the your wife needs a vacation, you're going to take your wife to Israel, first class, let us have it. Don't take your wife to Cancun and Gehennam, Bura Bura and Gehennam. Take her to Israel. Amen. Holy Land, exactly. Why are you taking it? Cancun, Bura Bura, Dubai. What do we have to do in Dubai? Here it's Israel. We kiss the name of Eretz Israel. We kiss Yerushalayim of Nia. This is Michael. Stop going to Dubai, Michael. Yerushalayim, Kappa. Michael said, I've never been to Dubai. What do you want for my life? Okay. No, I'm just giving you a warning before you go. Please do not go. Go to Eretz Israel. Now listen to this. Eliyahu, Eliyahu, listen to this. God calls Adam, you know, you know, it's only one blessing in food that is ten word. All the rest is nine. Baruch Atah Hashem, Elohim, Melech HaOlam, Borei Mene Mezonot. How many words? Nine. Baruch Atah Hashem, Elohim, Melech HaOlam, Shakon, Yevit, or Amini? Nine. Borei Preetz, nine. Borei Preetz, nine. Every place is nine. The only one Baruch Atah, that is ten. Baruch Atah Hashem, Elohim, Melech HaOlam, Hamotzi, Lechem, Mene Haaretz, Amini? You know why? Not only because he takes ten different acts to make bread, because bread is Parnassah, and God caused Adam Rishon with ten different causes. I gave you the 10 blessings, I took it away. Now history went down. Let's travel back to the future. We're traveling right now. We're getting in. We need to get the blessing back. We need to get the blessing back. When, when exactly we got it? You know? When exactly we got the blessing? You know when? When Yaakov was one night, one night, that Esav in Machshimu was fighting for it. This is the reason Esav was fighting so much. Esav was screaming, crying, shout, shouting. Because he lost that night. It was only one night that a Jew can overcome a, a Goy. A Jew have the ability to overcome a Goy. Every Jew. That night is a lucky night. What's the name of the night? Nella said, you know, you know. Because the night that Yaakov Avinu came to get the blessing, it was the night of the Seder. Read Rashi. Rashi said he gave them two korbanot. One regular korban and one korban chakikam. One korban Pesach. You remember korban Pesach? And one korban that you can eat. Yaakov Avinu gave his father four glasses. The four glasses that you're drinking. It was the night of the Seder. And Yaakov Avinu, it's Chaka Avinu, he's blessing Yaakov. May God will bless you. If you're going to count, they have ten different blessings in that And that night, 
Yaakov Avinu got back the blessing that Adam Arishon left. And you know who is Yaakov Avinu? Shufra de Yaakov ke Shufra de Adam. You see, Yosef a Tzadik had temptation with the most beautiful woman in the world. I'm not talking about regular low life women. But God forbid you're going to Vegas and she's coming to start with you. And she look ugly and she act ugly and she is a low life. I'm talking about classic woman. The most beautiful woman in the world that every day dress different. She put perfume. She come to you, she said, Jonah Bazar, Jonah Bazar. Hey, this is Mitzrayim, this is Egypt. Let's break Balagan, Balagan, hey, nobody knows, no. You're not married. Tradition-wise, to cheat, it was normal in Egypt until now. now why, why you become Tzadik? And Yosef, uh, Yosef didn't make the Avera. You know why Yosef didn't do it? Because the Gemara said, Rashi bring it, he saw the face of his father. Big deal. So he saw the face of his father. What's, what exactly have to do with the face of his father that he didn't do the Avera? He didn't do the sin because he saw the face of his father. So listen to what the Gemara said. Yaakov Avinu face was exactly look like Adam Arishon face. Yaakov was the Gilgul of Adam. He was the reincarnation of Adam. He came to fix what Adam made to. Because of that, Yaakov is the one that got the blessing. The same Adam that made the Balagan is the same person that came back in history and fixed it. Now, Yosef Atzadik is looking and he sees his father. What did he see? He doesn't see his father. He sees Adam Arishon. And he sees what one Avera can do. One Avera cost us years of exile. We lost all the blessing. How many times in life you can say, only one Avera, who cares? One Avera, nobody knows. One Avera that Adam did cost all of us to die. Cost all of us to sweat hard. Cost all of us to have difficult delivery. All the Balagans start with one Avera. He said, what you lose? If this is Adam, I don't want to do this Avera. He told the uh, Eshet Potiphar, the wife of Potiphar, I don't want to do it. I'm afraid to do one mistake. Even one mistake. Why? So Yaakov Avinu is what? He's the reincarnation of who? Adam Rishon. If this is so, now we understand. What's the connection between Purim and Pesach? It's not only 30 days between Purim and Pesach. The 30 days is introduction. You know why Purim and Pesach is connected to each other? I will throw you right now a bomb. You're not going to believe how much Pesach. When you're coming in to let us settle, you have to come shivering because you're going to fight for everything that you have that year. Everything that you have. You shalom bayit, your education of children, your health, your pranasa. How do we call it in English? A master key for all the blessing. One night, master key. One night. That everything that you want. And you don't have to be a tzaddik. This is the difference. In Yom Kippur, you have to be tzaddik. In order to be signed, you have to pray the whole time. You have to fast. And Pesach, Bore Olam, you know what you call Pesach, Pesach? Shepasach al apetach. God jump over the doors. Can you tell me which doors? Anyone can tell me which doors God open, God jump. If you know the answer, Mr. Shalom, free breakfast. <laughs> Which door exactly God jump over? The doors that the devil marked. This is a simple explanation. When you come in here to the BJCC, not to, I'm not going to mention the name, but not the government, you come in here to hear something deep. What is so? Which doors? The doors Which? That were not marked as well. Which doors? They have one doors that God requests each one of us, except Passover. The door of the Shuvah. In Rosh Hashanah, God said, you want to get good here? Open the door of the Shuvah. In Yom Kippurim, you want to do? Open the door of the Shuvah. In Sukkot, Hanukkah, any holidays, they have one holidays that God do not judge you. Arasha, the son of Arasha, is in the table and he's sitting with all of us. And he's praying, why God do not just be there? Just be there, just be in the center. You're going to get all the blessings, just be there. He said, the fish. Patach, Pasach ala Petach. Which Petach? Petach ni Petchoshim You don't even have to do small steps. Just be there. If this is so, 
I will tell you what's the connection between Purim and Pesach. And maybe I'm going to answer your questions that you never heard before. You're going to be mesmerized. Listen to this. If you're going to win, Emmanuel, if you win in the lottery, Ovadia, Ovadia, if you win in the lottery, are you going to call the lottery tomorrow and say, can I come in two days from now or one day from now? What's going to happen? Your wife doesn't, doesn't let you sleep. Ovadia, Kapara, Jonah, Jonah. Don't sleep. You sleep, you get boom, you get smack. Wake up. Tomorrow morning, six o'clock in the morning. Five o'clock, nets, nets. You are in the, 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 the door, in the door, please. Open the door. You take Babi Shabbat. Open the door. You're not going to wait. Why? Because maybe the day after, there's going to be a certain mistake, right? When you have a good news, when you have a mazal, you never postpone mazal. If you know that you have mazal, that in that day, anything, you're not going to say, God, give me another day. I will ask you a million dollar questions. Esther Malka is coming in to Achashverosh. She's telling the Hashvosh, my dear husband, if you, if you are in a good mood, and if you're even a man of if the king is in a good mood and you love me, can you come tonight to a dinner? I want to ask you to do something special. When Hashvosh came, he's full, he's in a good mood, anything you want, whatever you ask, just, just, what's, the, what's the request? Can you come tomorrow night? I don't understand. Who said that tomorrow night I'm going to be in a good mood? Now I'm in a good mood. These kings, they're changing their mind in 10 minutes. How many times I tell rabbis they collecting money? Somebody tell you I'm going to give you 25,000, 50,000, 100,000? You don't come tomorrow. Tomorrow the money is Kaddish, Rahmat Kulam, Kadal with Kadash. Now, you stand next time, where is the check? Give me the money. Show me the money. Give me the money, right? Why? Tomorrow, forget about the money. If it's giving you $100, nothing happened. Tomorrow you're going to get it. But if it's giving you 100,000, you don't leave the place. You sit in there, you, you drive in after him to the house to make sure. He's in a good mood. Achashverosh is in a good mood. Mikhail, why she postponed them? Nobody, I mean, everybody hear the story. I believe now everybody said, wow, what a question. How come we never thought about it? Everybody read it, and now everybody going to sleep like that. Baruch Hashem, postponed them, not postponed them. Baruch Hashem, we have food, and we have a shvelom, and so on, and life is good. Do you have a question to this question? Did you have an answer for this question? You might know what's the answer? You like it that you come tonight. Why Esther postponed Achashverosh one day? Why she didn't request to save the Jews in the first night? She told them if the, guy, if the king is in a good mood, come also tomorrow. She didn't come tomorrow. Now is the Mazan. Now is the Mazan now. I don't know desire. King, you never give him desire. If he's ready, you ask now. You don't give him. You meet the president of the United States and he's in good mood, ask now. Tomorrow, can be Jangan Ruzi, somebody's coming in, whispering? Change his mind. 100%. But what's, what exactly happened if tomorrow somebody whisper against you? What exactly? Can you control it? No. Now he's in a good mood. He tell you whatever you want. He told us there in the first night. Whatever you want, get. Come tomorrow. What's going to come tomorrow? I will tell this woman is not normal. She needs a psychology. I will pay the psychology. What exactly happened to you? You call me for no reason? She showed him, she loved him. She Ladies and gentlemen, I will tell you something you never heard. Do you know why? <clears throat> because Esther was smart. You know who is, the ch who is Amana Rasha? Amana Rasha is this child of a grand, grand, you know, is, is Babo Kolon? Mm -hmm. Is Babo Kolon, 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 Kolon? Is Esav Rasha. He came from Amalek, Amalek, the grandfather of Amalek is always up. Now, don't think that Amana Rasha was stupid. Why did he come to the event? She invited him. He was so happy because they have only one night that the Jews overcome the Goyim. Only one night. Mm -hmm. Our power, yeah. all the rest of the night, the Goyim can have power above us. But they have only one night. She invited him the first night. Not on the same night because she knew that a man will never show up. A man knows his story. A man was the Haram. He knew when Moshe Rabbeinu died. He knew everything about the Jews. He knew Pesukim from the... He was a giant. He was the Haram. Do you think that Hitler in Machcho was ignorant man? What Hitler did is marketing study in every university. He's one of the best salesmen in the world history. 
to kill Jews and to make it so professional and the whole nation he jumped. You know what the brilliant individual it was? He knew Judaism better for many Jews. This is Shaim in Machshimam, they know everything. So she said, the first night she's going to invite him is what, what? The 13, night, the 13 days of Nisan, one night before. Not one night before she knew her man is going to come. Because in that night, a stuff is stronger. So he came. He was happy. Now, after they came, she said, can you come tomorrow? Because tomorrow we'll learn a seder. Now a man cannot say no. Because he's already tapped. And Hashvarosh is there. That's it. Tomorrow, I know I'm going to have power. Tonight, if I'm going to ask, I'm going to lose. But they have one night. One night that we have power over yourself. Anything you want, you're going to get in that night. What's the name of this night? Let us know. The ten blessing. You remember how many clothing has Mordechai? You remember the story with Mordechai? Mordechai and, 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 and they came in at night to the king and the king told them, how many, how many clothing Mordechai wear? Ten clothing. You know why ten? The ten blessing. You remember Yaakov Avinu was wearing special clothing? Now his story repeats itself. Mordechai is wearing because he knew we got the ten blessing back. Unreal. Purim was not on Purim. Most of you doesn't even know. Purim had nothing to do with 14 days of Adar. The decree was there. But you know when the miracle happened? Had nothing to do. The miracle, the change of the decree happened when? 14 days of Nisan. And then I said there is when the king changed his mind and kill a man and kill how many children? How many at that night? Ten children of Amman. You know why ten? The ten blessing. This is only introduction to the death of tonight. If this is so, let's continue. No, tonight is going to be deep. Your brother in okay, I know. I hope that I'm not too deep. What's his name? Andre. 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 Andre, so far we are on the same page. Can we continue swimming? <laughs> Rabbi, you're flying too much. Welcome to Elan. Welcome to Elan. Moshe, listen to this. Dr. Abraham, Dr. Abraham, what a night, what a night, what a night, night of America. This is Lela Seder. Lela Seder is all the blessing of a human being. You know how I know? <coughs> what is unique in these holidays? And the name of the holidays? And this is the only holidays that we've been called such a names. I'm asking you many questions. At least if you can answer one of them, I have to squeeze breakfast, please. Take breakfast, you know, he's in a good mood. Eh? Very nice, let us say that. But they have another name. Another name. Pesach. Pesach Kashir. Pesach Kashir. Why Kashir? You don't say Rosh Hashanah Kashir. You don't say Purim Kashir. Pesach is all about Kashrut. Have to be kosher. Maybe your wife will answer because of all the kosher food and all the kosher dishes and that we're going to study at the end of the class. This is one of the reasons. But according to what I'm going to tell you tonight, it's not because of that. The name symbolizes that the essence of all the holidays come from Pesach. How do you write Pesach? Pei, Samech, Kasher, Chav, Shin, Listen to this. Pesach, stand for Pei, Purim. Samech, Sukkot, Chet, Chanukah, Kasher, Chav, Kippur, Shin, Shavuot, Resh, Rosh Hashanah. Yeah. Huh? Oh, again, it's only introduction. We're going deeper. Today, I know. Maybe you need somebody, how do you call it? Um, when you swim in deep, how do you call this? Scuba game. Scuba game. We're going, today we're diving, we're diving in, we're diving in. And we're jumping, we're jumping in. If this is so, if this is so, now that we know that, I will tell you something, that you're not going to forget it forever. This year is the year of wealth. You're going to make Be'ezrat Hashem so much money, a blessing money, a money will, that will bring you Shalom Bait, a money that will help you to build communities, to build synagogues, to build yeshivot, to build kolelim, God will open all the gate upon you. A money that will give you health and shalom bite. 
money that will give you to raise your children in the Torah of Chupan Listen to this. They have a reason. Which tefillah Sephardim love the most? Which tefillah? How do you call it? I know. Parnasso. Who said? Who said? Abraham, Arambai, we know. The Arambai of family, they know. You said beautiful, but in general, Mrs. Alive, you said beautiful, but general. Arambai, they know details. Asher, you should be better. You know why I should? Poteach et yadech. הוא מסביר, אמת אליהו? ספרדי, הפותח את... אשכנזים? פותח את ידיך, ספרדי כפרה, ג'אמפי, דה הולדה פילאי סליפינג, אמן את אחד, פותח את... תסתכל שמונה עשרה, מה לא, שמונה עשרה זה מורם פוטן, סנדי לי בקם צדיק, פותח את ידיך ווייק אפ, שמונה עשרה היא סליפינג, צ'ק אנד דפון, סנדי לי, הם פותח את ידיך, נו מה תסן מסג'ו. Even the phone, the phone is this. Put the hair in the phone. Put the hair. You know why they use the phone and put the hair in the phone? Because they put Zen, Bore Olam, Zen in the phone. Quick, P.A.E. Cash and Bahad, you know, we call it Bauch Hashem. Now, if this is so, that's the other thing. Wait, wait, wait. Moshele, Moshele, this is a shiur. This is a shiur once in a life. Ay, 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 what a zikhut, what a privilege you have, each one of you. It's only introduction to next week. Thank you, Rebbe. Baruch Hashem, Baruch Hashem. I see you, you extend my life another week and another week until 120 together. Let us say amen. If this is so, why Potech et Edech is so important? Why? Why Potech et Edech is so important for Pernasa? Do you know why? Or should, why Potech et Edech is so important for my life? To make wealth. To become wealthy, protect it. Parnaso. Why? Because they have three names over there. That they are the three names that if you can combine three of them, you're a lucky human being. You know, it's like, you know when you're going in to save the budget, in a bank, we always have two keys. One your key, and one the bank. You cannot open with one key. Now, the safe the budget of God, they have three keys. For Parnaso, the cash, three keys. If you're missing one of them, Balagan. You know, the, the door is shaking, but you cannot open it. You need the three keys. What's the name of the three keys? Very simple. What's the name? Poteach et yadecha. Poteach. Pei. Et. Aleph. Yadecha. Yud. Amo. What's the name? Pai. Pai is the first key, the name of God, in charge for what? Cash. Like you. Parnasso. Right? The next name is? Samech Aleph Lamed. You're going to see it in the Sidhu. You don't have to be a Kuban. In every Spanish Sidhu. Jonathan, what's the next name? Sa'al. Samech Aleph Yud. Beautiful. The, the last name is, the last names, the last key. Chatach. What's the Chatach? Poteach. Last letter? Chet. Eight. Last letter? Tav. Yadech. Last letter? Pai. Sa'al. Chatach. Right? Eh? No, matter how you put it. I don't know, no, 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 but it's no matter how you put it. The most important that you have to combine these three names. Okay? Pi, today you can understand why I said it in this order. You are smart enough. A lawyer is a lawyer. I'm going to tell you, after, after I'm going to answer, if you just wait a second, you understand why I said it in this order. And then, now listen to this. These three names is the key for all. I mean, this year. Money is going to be shoveling. You. you know what is equal these three names? What's the name of this holidays? Pesach. You know what's Pesach? Pay stands for Pai. Samech stands for Sa'an. Chet Chatach. That night is the night that in charge of all the money that you're going to make this year. You understand that? Only Pesach. Huh? It's only introduction. We're going in. We dip in. He's already in the bottom. Rabbi, Rabbi. I'm, I, I don't know. I need no air, no air. I need gasoline. gasoline. How do you call this thing? Balloon. I need oxygen. I need another balloon. Ah, Michael, Michael, what a night. What a night. The night of the sun. Esh. Esh. Rabota Esh. The night of the sun. Lela Seder is the night of all the blessing. Ladies and gentlemen, not to argue, not to fight with your wife. 
לא עלינו ולא עליכם. One thing you have to remember that before we're going to start. You have to remember this one. God forbid to fight with your wife or with your husband. You ruin the blessing for the whole year. One night. And actually in America it's two nights. You cannot argue. And not only that. Gentlemen, the whole year guest is important. We're making a lot of mistakes. Lela Seder is the night of organization. You know what they organize? Your children and your wife have to be forced. And that night, you know it's difficult for me not to invite guests? I have one night from the two nights that our tradition is not to invite nobody. And then when I leave, I'm sitting down at two o'clock in the morning with my children and spending quality time only with my wife and children. I'm going to sleep afternoon in order that I'm not going to be sleeping during the seven. Now I start to do it sometime once a month in Shabbat to put my children priority. God give you a gift. What do we do? The whole, every, every Shabbat, what do we do? We have guests, where they sit on, and the end of the tables. Sometimes we push them to the other rooms. They are no life. They are stranger. And a guest? Bullshit! Kavod! Kavod! <laughs> Which kavod? Are you out of your mind? Your children is the first priority. Your children is always next to you. Why are you putting your wife and your children far away? The guy that's coming in and coming out, he doesn't care about you. He will continue life with you without you. But they're the one that's going to be there when you're going to be sick, when you're going to need help, when you're going to need support. Your wife is the one you almost put your wife next to you and your children next to you. But all of us do the same mistakes. Come the night of the Seder and said, reorganize your life. Charity start at home. Your wife is the most important items in your life. Love and respect your wife. Your children is the most important. Put them in the highest priority. The night of the Seder, the children is not far away. Make sure they're going to go to sleep. They're going to wake up. The whole night is about the children. We transfer heritage. If you're going to ask every Jew, which night you remember, tradition-wise, from your parents, every Jew will answer you one night. Pesach. Every child remember the way that his parents act in the Lord. You're going to put your children at the end of the tables? There the night. If this is so, listen to this. We're going to continue. I will tell you. The first advice of Parnassah is Pesach. The night of Lela Seder. It's the night of miracles. It's the night that anything you want. You know when is the best time to ask? When is the best time? Dr. Avram, when is the best time to ask? When is the best time to ask whatever you want? They have one moment in that night that is the luckiest moment to ask. If that night in charge of everything, you want to have a child, a child, a new child, you can ask. You want to have Panasah, you want to have Shalom Bayit. You want that you and your wife and your wife will love each other dearly until the hundred and twenty. That your husband will not gonna come late and drive you nuts. That your wife will not scream at you. That her voice is gonna be soft and easy, perhaps. Is that when you eat at the corner? No. Almost. Hello? Almost. Hello? Well, well. Beautiful. They have over there a paragraph that said, a minute before Manishtana, Vekan Aben Shoel. And here the child is asking. Yes. In my home, we have tradition, we all stand up, have tears in my eyes. And being the son of God, the tradition said, and every I get up. And here the child is asking, God, I'm your child, I'm come to ask. And I'm asking. For one, two, three minutes, four minutes, we will close the eyes and each one of us make a wish. Some of us even scream in the woods loud and clear, and all the rest answer in Amen. This is the moment to ask. And here the child is asking, I want to know bite. I want to have livelihood. I want to be healthy. I want to have children. Cries, scream. But it's a cool Hashem. The Almighty God save us. Only because of one reason. 
We didn't supposed to go out from Egypt. We had another 190 years to stick around. You know why God cut off 190 years? Our sage said, because we one act. But it's Aku and Hashem. They scream, Tate Abba, Abba! We want out. When you're screaming from the bottom of your heart, when you shed tears, God have no, no, no other ways. You have to fulfill whatever you ask. If the Agadah said, and here the child is asking, Bura Olam, Abba, Abba, Kapara, Lecha Abba, and Allah, but she doesn't and the Abba, you know what's Abba? Abba! 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 Where exactly you can see? Why, why, why? This is. And here the child is asking. So the fourth advice for livelihood is to remember Pesach. Pei, Samech, Chet. The three names that if you can combine, the safe is open. But I have another one. Listen to this. How much is numerical numbers of pi? Abraham, Abraham, pi. How much is pi? Pay Aleph, you how much? Yeah. First. 91. 91. Oh, how much is Saad? Sam, Aleph, Amen. 91. By the way, Amen? Amen. 91. Malach, 91. So two names have already 91. How much is Khatach? Mr. Abraham, Bayo. A hundred? Chatach. Taf. Four hundred. Four hundred and twenty? Beautiful. Four hundred and twenty-eight. Now I'm going to go deeper later. How much is four hundred and twenty-eight plus ninety-one plus ninety-one? Where is my phone? <laughs> you know, they said about Sephardim, we know how to make money, the Ashkenaz know how to count. Because of that, they're accounting and we are business people. Oh, six, ten, six, ten. Six, ten. Six, 610. They have only one word in Hebrew that is 610. No. What is that? Maser. Mem, Ein, Maser, Shin, Resh. When you give 10% of your money, you connect the three names together. Ah, you remember the three names? 91, 91? Oh, yeah. Maser is... Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> this night is the night of miracle. What is it, 5, eh? 5 No, not 5. 4, 28. Chatach. Chet four. is 8. Oh, eight. Taf, 400. Chaf, 20. 20 plus 400 eight. plus 8 is how much? Mm -hmm. 4, 28. Plus 91 and 91. 91 and 91 is 182. Yeah. 182 plus 428 is exactly 16. When you give 10%, you become rich. You know why? Until now you fought. 10%? Why 10%? Because you combine the three names together. When you have the three names, the three keys, the gate is open. That's it. Now, Brinks is on the way to you. The Brinks. You know the Brinks? The one that delivered the money from the bank? They're making stuff in your house. Amen. Hello? I heard that you're going to build a new synagogue. We came here to deliver the money. <laughs> the campaign is down. The campaign is down. They give us the money too fast. Why you why? Go to your rabbi and tell him, Rabbi, bless us. Ay, ay, ay. This is the issue of Pesach. Why? Because in Pesach, the Jewish nation left Vaitseu, Berechush Gadun. Vainatsluit Mitzrayim. The Jewish nation left with unlimited wealth. And other things. To make Parnassah. What's the first mitzvah that we have in this month? From tonight. From tonight. What's the first mitzvah? Well, not today. You see, you save all the breakfast. I don't understand what exactly happened over here. <laughs> I mean, maybe they love you. I don't know. Maybe in public they don't answer. I'm not doing Jalousim, but I don't know. You know? Make yeah. What's the first mitzvah of Rosh Chodesh Nisan? From Rosh Chodesh, what? Ayotzeh Ben Nisan. You bless the trees. Ah. 
Breakfast on the house. Hashem Melech, Hashem Melech. Good afternoon, Beli Neder. You go in tomorrow, open press. You take your wife to the doctor. Say, doctor, you don't have to pay. I don't have to pay. Shalom, shalom, Mr. Shalom. Let them pay, don't worry. He's in a good mood. Let them pay. Why you say no? He's a bit of a kapar. Who won? Who won? This is the one. Send the receipt. <laughs> no, send the phone with the Zen, with the Zen. It's going to send you the money. It's send, the receipt, send the receipt. <laughs> That's not true. Whatever, Abutai, you could have been in me. Michael, you hear that? To bless the tree, say good for Paraksa. You know how I know? Do you remember which night Yaakov Avinu went in? The night of the Seder, right? And what, the, yeah, what did Shrek Avinu said? Re'e. <laughs> You smell is like the smell of the trees, the tree of Canada. Because of that, and this month, before Pesach is very important, because this way you're coming in, not with perfume that costs to make five dollars and you pay 150 in order that for your wife to feel good. Perfume. Is the biggest scam in the world history. <laughs> <laughs> now, but if you're gonna buy perfume, five dollars, your wife is gonna look at you. You are a cheap guy. I know your family three generation. They are cheap from Bukhara, from Tashkent, all your generation. Ladies, you know how much money it costs to make perfume? Five to ten dollar rupees. All the money that you pay for commercial perfume is the cheapest items to make. But you're not gonna feel good too. But when you spray a hundred dollars, I remember the first perfume I bought my wife. She did, pss, pss. I said, no, 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 one is good enough. <laughs> she said, why? I said, you got married with the rabbi, not the business one. Every one is three dollars. <laughs> Please, one is good enough, don't make another one. It's already six dollars, you know. Take your time, both of them. Ladies, if you want to have the real perfume, gentlemen, if you want to have perfume that will make you rich before night of the seven, you go in and you make Berkat Ha'inanot. You bless the tree. This way, when you're walking into the seder, Re'e re'ach b'ni, k're'ach ha'sadeh asher b'chua Hashem. Now I can smell the smell of my son, like the smell of Gan Eden. Almighty God, we didn't even start the seder. Next week, we're going to start in time, Chodachat. Nine o'clock exactly. Please be here in time and bring your friends. We overview the Agadah. Tick, 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 tick. If you can come with pen and paper, it's good. Bring as many friends that you want, that you can. Bring as many. Because it's going to be once in a lifetime experience. This way you can speak the whole night of the seder. One hour, two hours. You can, you can have so many. Pen and paper. Please bring pen and paper. Don't depend on the video. Yes, that fina. No, I have to be flowers with no fruit. When the, the flowers just bless. But all just. The right now, no, no I have a connection. We have an hour. And Court Myers, they have flowers. <laughs> and the place that you live, you know, the tree wake up, he said, no, 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 it's better to go to sleep. They go. But in Court Myers, the Bukhara, Bukhara Hills, they call it. Bukhara Hills, they have a lot of blouses. The whole winter, they already blouses in Boca they have a reason to wake up. Whatever, Rabotai, I will end. Let's stand up, all of us, please. I will end with this barakha. And then, and then, anyone that wants to stay for the kashrut, we're going to continue. One second. Open up. In. Repeat after me. This is a special tefillah for the night, for the day of Rosh Chodesh, the sun, today. Erev Rosh Chodesh, okay. Ata u Elokim. Azan. Mikane Remim, Vead, Bitsekinim, Vatahu, Amechin, Kotsukim, Venusaf, Al Atzrahim, Aichim, Atahu, Anoten, Bemilui, Verevach, Verosher, Vehavod, Kose, Atause, Benitvat, Lipratov, Ketahu, Nadiv, Behemet, Lokmushikurim, Lefamim Ladam, Mehad Nadiv, 
כי נתוותו אינה אמיתית. רק לתשמול, לתשלום, גמול, או בשביל טובה, שקדמו הוא, והרי הוא כסוחר. שתי הקדוש חייץ. God, you are the only one that we can say that you are nature, you are natural good. You know why? A human being make with your good, he wants something back. He give you gift for the weddings, and his wedding, he went for you to give him the same gift. But God give you, he doesn't want nothing back. So because of that, you are good. Now, Belachen, Ani, Avdecha, Itavta, אלכוהול, ונתת לי, עושר, וכבוד, מידך, הטובה, הכל, ברכתני, בכל, מכל, כל, נתת לי, ספרים, הרבה, וכסף, וזהב, לרוב, ומלבושי, כבוד, ודירה, בכבוד, קטונתי מכל החסדים אשר עשית את עבדך וירא אנוכי מאוד לנפשי שלא יהיה חס ושלום העושר שמור לי לרעה להכינני המעט מזכויותיי שבידי ואל יראה ברעתי לעולם הבא עולם הנצחי ובאים רצונך למאהב לי ולא למשכם תן בליבי ובלב כל הנביאים אליי שנשתמש במתנותיך לעשות רצונך והתפרנסו מאיתנו בעלי תורה אנשים כשרים אנשים הגונים עשו צדקה הרבה וגמילות חסדים לקרובים ולרחוקים ודבר השם יקום יהיו לרצון עם רפי והיגיון ליבי לפניך אדוני צורי וגועני פסח כשר ושמח רבי חנניה בן הקשה אומר רצה הקדוש ברוך הוא לזוכר צד לפי חרבני זו המזוות שנאמר אדוני חפץ מה תזכור יקדים תורה ויעדים קדיש אמן 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 אמן